Hey ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bull here, and I understand that you are going to be doing a podcast. In fact, you have already probably started writing a script, and you are going to take that podcast and convert it, or excuse me, that script, and convert it into a podcast, something people will be excited to listen to. So today, we're going to learn how to take everything that you've done and record it into a podcast. To do that, we're going to use a program called GarageBand, or as your teacher may say, GarageBand. But don't be confused, because GarageBand and GarageBand are the same thing. Now, when you first open up GarageBand, it'll look a little bit like this. And you'll have all these choices. Well, guess what? You don't want to use a ringtone. You want to use a voice, because you're going to be using your voice. That's correct. So I'll double-click on that. And in a second, it'll pop up, and here we go. And this is what it looks like. Each of these are separate tracks. In other words, you could record one voice here, another voice here, and another voice there. However, you only will probably need to use one, maybe two different tracks. So, let's take the top one here. Got that? Now, once at the top one, you'll want to start doing your recording. Now, recording sound is really, really important. In fact, if you have bad sound, you're going to make the listener, perhaps your teacher, very grumpy because they will struggle to hear what you are saying, and they won't like that. So make sure that you speak loudly, clearly, and as with as much of a radio voice as you possibly can. Also, having a microphone is very helpful. I'm actually using a microphone right now. This one. This is from my iPhone, and it has a microphone. Hear it as I click on it? Built right into it. It's a pretty good microphone, and it works really well. If you don't have one, that's okay. Just talk loudly to your computer, not screaming, but loudly, and make sure that you're in a very quiet room, in a very quiet space, with nobody around to bother you. All right, so to get started with recording, you're going to head over here, and you're going to click on the red button, and watch this. See that? That is recording things that I'm saying. And you can see the level of the recording here. If I go up and talk louder, it goes up to yellow and sometimes almost red. Later, when you're finished, you can move this back and forth to make yourself louder or quieter, depending. Okay? So give it a shot. Do some recording right now, even though you're in a noisy classroom, just to get a feel for how it works. Ready? Go!